Hello and welcome to Blue's Learning Session 3 with me, Mr Cooper. Make sure you've got a pen and some paper so you're able to do this session and your recall activity, your questions are Number 1. In which country did Blue's music originate? 2. Who were the people who created Blue's music? 3. Why did they create blues music? 4. Are blues songs happy or sad? And 5. In which city did blues music originate? Just pause this video to answer your questions and we'll go through the answers in one moment. Okay, let's have a look at your answers. So question 1. In which country did blues music originate? That is the USA, so North America. Who were the people who created blues music? These were the African slaves who came across on the transatlantic slave trade. Why did they create blues music? As a way of expressing their miserable feelings. As blues songs happy or sad? They are of course sad. And in which city did blues music originate? That was New Orleans, which is in the southern part of North America, and it travelled up the east coast to New York and to Chicago in the centre. So, in session three, our learning objective is to understand the origins of the 12 bar blues and our success criteria to be able to remember the use of chords in the 12 bar blues. Chords. So write this down in your booklets or on your paper. Chords are groups of two or more notes. More often they are found to be three notes. These are played at the same time and are called triads. Now remember that triads means three. So things like trinity would also mean three. This is an example of how a chord would look if we were playing it on a keyboard, so we can see here we've got C, E and G, which is a C chord. So it's C, miss a note, E, miss a note and G is the easiest way to describe it. So three chords of the 12 bar blues. We use three chords. So we use a C chord, an F chord, a G chord, but obviously using all these different letters in music would get really confusing so we can also abbreviate them in Roman numerals so for the C chord it would be called 1 so with Roman numerals it would be an I for chord F we'd call that chord 4 if we were going up the alphabet which is IV and G is chord 5 which is V so our C chord is C, E and G F chord is F, A and C, and G chord, G, B and D. So copy these three chord diagrams into your booklet or in your paper. Clearly label each note of the chord. So pause the video here just to do that. So, what is the 12 bar blues? So we've got our chords, C, E and G. So you can see on our music it's got I, which means it's the C chord, so we know which one to play. Four, the I, V, is the F chord. We've got one chord of G on the bottom line where it says V, and that is called G, G, B and D. So what does the 12 bar blues actually sound like? Have a look at my demonstration. The 12 bar blues uses three chords. C, F and G. There's a certain order to play them in and the easiest way to play them is to use your thumb on the bottom note your middle finger on the second note and your little finger on the top note. And this is the order that we play them in. 
C. Then we move to F. Back to C. Then we go up to G. So that is the 12-bar blues, and it repeats over and over again, and many musicians improvise over the top. Okay, what I need you to do now is copy a grid like this one into your booklet, so onto your piece of paper, and it's four squares across the top, four squares in the middle, and four squares on the bottom. Of course, if you're using line paper, you might just prefer, prefer to put three lines down the lines and then a little box around them. And then what I need you to do is jot the chord letter into each box. So can you remember what the chords were? Okay, I'm just gonna give you 30 seconds to have a think about it. Pause the video here and then we'll go through the answers. Okay, so let's see if you were right. So on our top line we've got C, C, C and C. On our next line, F, F, C and C. And can you remember what was in the bottom left? Were you right? That was the G chord, F, C and C. And that is the fundamentals of the 12 bar blues. Easy. Okay, just remember what our learning objective was, was to understand the origins of the 12 bar blues and to be able to remember the use of the chords in the 12 bar blues. So hopefully you've been able to do that. So can you answer these questions now, do you think? So how would you describe what a chord is? How many notes are usually played in a chord? What is a triad? The 12 bar blues uses three different chords. What are they? And what is the order of the 12 bar blues? So pause the video here to answer your questions. Let's see if you were right. So a collection of notes played together is what a chord is. Two or most, more notes usually makes up a chord. The most common chords use three notes which are called triads. And the 12 bar blues uses three different chords, C, F and G. And hopefully you remember the order of our 12 bar blues which is C, 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 F, F, C, C. G, F, and C, C. And thank you very much for coming to today's class. So in your next learning session, we'll be learning about using the blues scale. That's that improvisation one. If you get stuck, you can also email your teacher. So at musicdepartment at smirchus.com. The email will go to myself, Mr. Millington, and Mr. Horn. So do feel free to send us a message if you are stuck. Or any work, you can send us work too. So you can get some achievement points. Thank you very much for attending and we shall see you next time. Bye.